FOF TV is brought to you by the Lion's Den. The den always has been and always will be about enjoying family and friends in an environment steeped in Happy Valley tradition. So come back to the den, the perfect place to recall old memories while creating new ones. Okay. All right, questions for Coach? Joe, should your offense be further along than it is now, almost halfway <laughs> through the season? Well, I didn't think we would have left us very good today, if that's what you're referring to. And I, we have, we got to do some things better, we're not obviously. Not staying on blocks. We didn't do a couple of things. Yeah. I go back home and try to get a little better. But the, but you know, every time you do say things like that, you take away from the other guy. I thought the Indiana kids play with a lot of enthusiasm. They hustled on all the plays. I I thought their tackling was very good. So I, I you know we got a we got a lot of work to do. But I think you got to get the Indiana coaching staff and the kids credit because they played it. It was a tough football. But, but you guys made an awful lot of mistakes. Huh? You made an awful lot of mistakes. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said the Indiana kids played a good football game. We got a lot of improvement. Well, they, Joe, they, uh, I mean, they got pushed around by Ball State and North Texas. Well, and you first, guys could not first get thrust they, on the offensive first line First half they did, they didn't say, hey, I, you, <laughs> You guys sometimes act like you've never been to a football game before. You know darn well that one week a team can play a certain uh, intensity and another week a different one. Certain things happen differently. You know, Indiana played down in North Texas when they played last week. They didn't play at home. I thought the, I, I just thought it was a good, tough football game, and the Indiana kids played well. They were well coached, and I that the best thing about us was that we hung in there. We didn't, we're not, uh, we're in, you know, we, we have a lot of work to do, I, I'm not going to disagree with that, but, uh, you know, we hung in there and we won the game, that's, that's what uh, we're supposed to do. Coach, was it frustrating you were moving the ball up and down the field to get inside the tens and not yeah, be able to? Yeah, and the fumbles, yeah, we, we've got to. You know, it's a, I don't know, it's a mindset maybe, I don't know, but I, I, I think we're wasting too many opportunities, yeah. I think you waste so many opportunities, sometimes you can't, you just don't have enough, your defense can't keep you in the game long enough for you to, to win it. I thought our defense played a good, solid football game today, as they have all year. Are we still where we have been with the, with the quarterback situation, or do you think anything today changed your mind about who should well, be in I really, charge? I really you? haven't thought about that. I, I, you know, we played both kids again, and I think both of them did a decent job. Uh, that wasn't neither one of their better job games, I wouldn't say, but they both hung in there, and uh, I think we. You know, we'll, we'll go back home and we'll take a good look at it. We've got to play a good, tough Big Ten team next week. We'll be at home, we've got to play Iowa. And I think we'll see where we have to go. But I, I have no intention to uh, go on berserk. We're going to take a good look at where we are and see what we can do to get ourselves a little better. Joe, it looked like at one point you went over to the offensive linemen and, and talked to them while they were on the bench. What were you saying to them at that point that you could? Well, I didn't think we were staying on, blo on blocks. I, th I think, uh, you know, Dave's uh, remarks about uh, Indiana last week may have had a little bit of an impact on the way they, they went into this game to solve it. That it was going to be easier. Indiana gets a much better game, obviously. I th at least I would say they did than they did against North Texas. State. I think that's a credit to their coaching staff and some of their kids. But they, uh, I, I, I didn't, I, we didn't stay on blocks. We had a couple of missed assignments. And guys, at this stage, I would hope would be a little better. Joe, why did you pull the right tackle, Chima? Was 
he an effective to put Farrell in for a lot of the game, or was Chima? Did he get well, hurt again? was, you know, Chima has been had a tendency to jump offside. He jumped offside once. He jumped then a couple of weeks ago. He jumped off a little bit. And in all fairness to Chima, he's been hurt, hasn't practiced at 100% until this past week. And Farrell's, uh, Farrell has been hurt, and we like Farrell, and we thought, well, we knew we were going to try to play him and Urshel uh, before we even started the game, so that, that's why we did that. Coach, what was the difference in the game and comment on the long touchdown pass play? Well, you know, we were trying, we tried awfully hard to beat that kid on the corner because they were playing so tight. I'll show you how. I was upstairs at that time. I got off the bench, we started to throw the ball a little bit. <laughs> when I was up, I'm yelling to the tight end, the tight end. <laughs> so, when I threw it to the wide out, I was all upset. <laughs> so I saw him catch it and run for the touchdown. I, uh, oh, you gotta have a couple. Coach, why did you go up uh, upstairs for the second half? Well, I can't. Why did you go upstairs for the second half? You know, I felt really good to begin with, uh, but then it got, yeah, that's turf. That's not like grass. It looks like it's, it's, it's I don't know, for some reason or other, my, it was really tough on my leg, and I was afraid of you know, you, yeah, I, the one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to be down there and be a, uh, somebody who's going to, the kids are going to have to watch out for me and things, things weren't going real well. Uh, and we knew what our problem was. So I thought that I'd be better off going upstairs to play it safe. But I'm getting better. I don't use a cane or anything like that. And some, sometimes I go overboard. I did a lot of walking. I went, I, I walked through the whole practice on Thursday, and I, I may not have recovered from that yet. Joe, you had Bolden in the game. You put him back in the game in the fourth quarter. After Indiana scored a touchdown, you put McCoy back in. Was there any rhyme or reason to that? No, it, you know, it's it's a feeling. You know, it's some things that uh, one kid may do a little better. Uh, we have a lot of confidence in both kids. I mean, I really, I, and I'm reluctant, obviously, I think it's, it's indicated by the way I answer some of the questions about the quarterback situation. I'm reluctant to say, hey, one's better than the other until I'm certain that that's true. Right now, I don't feel it. I think the team doesn't care who's in there. I think both of them do some things that we're doing right now well. and. Uh, and I want them to feel that they can go in there at any time and, and get the job done. Because you know, one play they may be down for, they may be, have to do the whole, whole game. Joe, anything the secondary affairs out there? Where'd that come? Okay. I didn't think the secondary affairs out there. Right, you like to talk about I didn't think the secondary affairs out there. You didn't think the secondary did no, how, how do you think that fair? How the secondary play well, without Lynn? Catches the ball a couple of times we had some interceptions. Is that what you're referring to? Or what? No, just overall how did the secondary play without Dan? Oh, I thought our secondary played pretty well. You know, that, you know again, I, I think that game last week is a little misleading when you look at Indiana because of the first half. First half they were terrible. Second half they came back and scored three touchdowns and almost scored uh, the Texas team. And they threw the ball well. I think they took the three touchdown passes in the second half against uh, last week. Joe, how about you couldn't convert the third and short run to finish the game and then you, you kicked the ball from the 39 and you couldn't pin them inside the 20. Was that disappointing? Well, I think the one kick of those the two? from the 39 was a play to make because our, our defense was playing well. Uh, no, I don't, that I wouldn't second guess myself on that one. Uh, you know, it's third down. We, we, we're just not doing some of those things that you got to do in a tough football game. Uh, most of the time, we were able to get by today without doing it, and that would be, be a little better third down team, and obviously 
do a better job when we get that ball inside the 20. That, that's where, and that's where we got to go to work. Okay, thanks, Coach. Okay, guys.